Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Martello and we are here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on how to install your 2013 Wisdom Hall of Record and your enclosed Goosenet trailer. So this is going to be a bit of a tricky tutorial for those who don't know how to install these, okay? But if you do, then good luck. But guys, make sure that you download and install all the requirements that's in some of the description below. Make sure that your requirements is the latest version. Once you guys have completed that, then I'll leave these two mods inside my description below. Make sure you guys download both of them in order for the mod to work. Once you guys have completed that, then head over to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. As you guys can see, I have already installed my requirements, so I don't need to install them. Head over to your mods folder, uh, update folder, and then go to your Time64 folder, and then go to your DRC text folder. Once you guys have completed that, go to your Western Polar's add on extract folder. Now inside that folder you have a few files inside your extract folder. The only thing that you must do is click on your Western Horror folder and then drag it inside your DRC pack folder. Now just double click to check to see if you've got a DRC pack folder inside your folder. Yes we do. Now go to your readme add-on.txt file. Now over here there's a few things, okay? Open up your spare notebook, okay? Open up a spare notebook. And then now just copy the code, okay? The DRC PEX code, okay guys? Just copy it and then now copy it onto a spare notebook. And then press enter. And then now all you guys gotta do next is just exit out of your text file and then minimize this one and now go and drag this on towards the side and now exit out of here now open up your enclosed goose extract folder and now just repeat the process okay open up your add-ons folder now with this this is a bit different open up your readme add-on.txt now over here, copy the name Enclosed Goose. Just copy the name. Go to your DRC text folder. Right click and then go to new. Then create a new folder. And then just only uh, rename it to Enclosed Goose. Once you guys have completed that, then copy the code. Copy the code again. And then now exit out of your text file and now paste the code over here. And there you go. Now go back to your extract folder. Now open up your enclosed goose folder inside your DRC text folder. And now click on your DRC.RPF file. And then now drag it inside your enclosed folder. Now the next thing we are going to do guys is drag this on towards the side and then exit out of your extract folder. Go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main file, right click, refresh. Exit your game folder. Now go back to the website, okay over here, to your enclosed goose website okay and then now over here 
just copy the code over here, okay guys? Copy this code, this is, this is another code you must copy. Do not copy the brackets. Just copy the, the code, okay guys? And then now minimize that. And then just paste it inside your notepad. And there we go. Now we have all the codes ready. The next thing we're going to do now is um, open up our open IRE. Go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Now wait for a few seconds. And then after that, guys, just head to your edit mode. Select yes. Then go to your mod folder. Go to update. Go to update.rpf. Go to common. Go to data. Then scroll right down the bottom to your DRC list.xml. Hover over it, right click, and edit. Scroll right down the bottom and just click onto the side like that. Press enter once. Go to your notepad and then now copy these two DRC packs um, codes, okay, guys. Just copy just these two, okay? And then now just press control and V and then just paste it right there, okay? Make sure they are sized up, okay? Just only there you go. Uh, do that, okay? Just only do that and then that's it. So now we have installed our two codes. Press save, go back to your DRC list of XML, double click OK, and then check to see if your code is in there. And yes, they are. Exit out of your application, go back to GTA V, and now we are going to install our next code. Copy this last code, OK? And now we're going to install this one over here. Now the next thing we are going to do, okay, is a lot different, okay. This is what everybody is asking for. As you guys can see on the website, okay, right down the bottom and everywhere is that everybody is asking how do you install the code. So this is where you have to go, okay, guys. So make sure you do follow the step, okay. So here we go. Go to your Mars folder, go to Update folder, go to Time64 folder, go to your DRC Packs folder. Now guys, whatever truck you are using, okay, whatever truck you are using, you must go to that folder, okay. So, the truck that we are using the, is the Western Hauler. So, go to your Western Hauler folder. Go to your DRC.RPF folder and go to common folder, go to data, so you'll see vehicles.meta. So right click OK and then go to edit. Now this is where it gets tricky to those who doesn't know how to um, code and stuff like that OK. So just scroll right down the bottom until you see trailers. Just find trailers, okay? Trailer, trailer, trailer. And here goes trailers right here. Now, what you gotta do, okay, is just scroll right down, scroll down the bottom, okay, until it says trailers again. If you see this, okay, then click on the side, press enter once, and then just paste it through right here. And then now, there we go. Now, all you guys gotta do, okay, is just save it. And that is EVP device. That's all you gotta do. Now, next thing we're gonna do now is go to edit, go to GTA V, exit out of your open IV. And now the next thing we are going to do is just right click and refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And we are back as Franklin. So what we're going to do is we're going to spawn the vehicles. So we're gonna get straight into it, okay? Because we don't want this video to be long. All you guys gotta do, okay, 
is press F4 to open up your trainer. Now go to vertical spawning and then go right down the bottom to edit vertical menu. Now as you guys can see we've got our two vehicles right here. The first vehicle that we're going to spawn is the trailer. Make sure that you use your num key to go around and use the menu. Press F and now you're out of here. Now we are going to go over here. And now we are going to spawn the truck. There we go. Now what you guys gotta do, okay? This is tricky, okay guys. Um I had a little I I had a little problem with this, okay? As you guys can see, it is yeah, it wouldn't um fit. But what I did okay is that I just went over here then yeah, there you go. Then now I have actually made it. See, so guys, that's how you do it, really. Um, just only, uh, yeah, just only just jam it in, and then there you go. So that's how you actually install it, okay? And that's how you guys spawn it and attach it. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. So we're gonna go over this whole truck, okay? So as you guys can see, the interior inside this truck is pretty awesome i really like this truck it's pretty awesome guys i like the interior uh it gives that that realistic uh each state now we're gonna jump out of the truck okay and we go to look at the trailer to change the livery of the trailer all you guys gotta do is press f9 to open up your spooner okay now, what we're going to do with this trailer, okay, is right click on the trailer, and now you can either delete it if you want to, but we probably not. Let's go right down the bottom to menu, custom, and now you can actually customize your trailer. But what we're going to do is that we're going to change the livery. Now, see so you guys, you can change it to the blue color or, yeah, blue color, and now it matches the truck a bit. You can change it to this or change it to this. We only have three of them, so yes. You can change the color if you want to. Go to your paints. And then change it to whatever color you want. Now over here too guys, the right click again. Go right down the bottom to menu. Go right down the bottom to menu customs. Then go to doors and you can actually open the doors too. Just go to all. Now, what you guys can do too is go to extras, and now you can enable them all. Okay. And now, what does this do? Okay, it actually brings in that you know, just open the doors. I don't know why I closed it. Closed. There you go. And now, press F9 to get out of here. And now, you guys can actually. Uh, do like a role play on fixing cars or etc. You can actually put cars inside this truck too. The limit amount of cars you can put in there is actually two cars. I have already tested them and I already put two cars in there. You can put two cars in there. And yeah, and you can uh, just walk in and you can look out over here if you want to. We do have some interior around here, um, some pump over there, and, and yeah, I really like this mod. It, it just gives that real good texture and texture. So yeah, I really like the mod. So I hope you guys do enjoy this mod. So I hope you guys do enjoy that mod, okay? If you guys did then download the mod, okay? I really highly recommend to you guys to download the mod, okay, and then install the mod. If you guys get stuck installing this mod, okay, then I highly recommend you guys comment below and then I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out. Or go and see me in my Discord server and I'll be more than welcome to help you guys there, okay. So with that I said, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys did, 
please smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.